Hello everybody, my name is Simone Duval and I'm here today to work with you on the COB, the Computerized uh, Oral Bagot Examination. And students, this is part five or lesson five on a whole lot of lessons that I have prepared about the COB. So I really recommend that you work through the lessons from one to two to three to four and then come to this lesson number five. It will really help you prepare for the computerized oral bagot exam. So students today, what will you need? You will need a pen or pencil. You will need a notebook to write in, obviously, and you will need your electronic dictionary or a paper dictionary. Whatever you normally use is fine and that will be great. The other thing that I would really recommend that you have, and I suggest that you have it, is a phone or another device that you can tape yourself or your friends. And this will help you hear how you speak and improve the way you speak, okay? So students, can you describe events in detail? Can you sequence and summarize events in a video? Can you evaluate events in a video? Can you express ideas and opinions providing in-depth explanations? Students, if you remember in the last lesson, we did the same thing as we're doing now. There's one difference though. The difference is now this clip is not an animated clip. It's not a cartoon or something. It's with real people. So it's a little bit different. You can have a clip in the bagot that is with real people or it's animated. So you have to prepare for both. So just to remind you of what we did in part four, we talked about part C, which is the response to an audio visual prompt, a clip. And we talked about Mr. Indifferent and he was in the clip. Do you remember that? And we watched the clip, we ordered the events and then we described the events and then we answered some difficult questions about the message of the clip. And then we self-assessed and peer-assessed, okay? So we're going to do this again in this lesson, but we're going to do it with a longer clip. It's longer, it's five minutes, it's not two minutes. And we're going to do it with a clip that is not animated. So just to remind you what you are expected to do in the oral bagot, let's see. Let's start part C of the exam. In this part, you're going to watch a short clip. After watching it, you'll have two tasks. Record your answers to each task separately. You must do both tasks. Listen carefully to what you are being asked. Remember, your answers must be detailed, clear, and in one recording. Okay, students. So it was important for me to remind you of this so that it will help you better prepare for the clip. Okay, so let's go back to our... Remember, students, that this test this exam is not just about speaking, it's also about listening. It is very important that you all listen carefully to the questions that you are asked and then answer exactly those questions. You will lose points if you do not answer the question in full, all right? So it is very important to get used to listening and speaking. And in fact, if we think about it in life, we cannot speak to people unless we listen to them first. And that is how people speak. They listen and then they speak. So we can all learn something important about that. So just to remind you that part C is worth 50 points 
there are two question sets you must answer both. Each one is worth 25 points. That is a lot of points, students. Questions four and five must be recorded separately, okay? And if you pause, we, we tell you not to pause because when, if you pause too many times, then you will lose points for pausing, okay? If you pause once, that's okay. But to pause, it's, it's just a good idea to stop and think for a moment and then keep talking. You don't have to pause on the, the recorder and continue. You can just think and then talk. That's how we do it. Sometimes I have to stop and think what I want to say and then I say it. The responses must be in depth and detailed for each question. And it is very important that you view the audio visual prompt, the clip through to the end. Don't stop it in the middle, answer the question, and then see the, the next part. That is not a good idea. You can watch the clip as many times as you want, but as you will see, if you watch it too many times, you will run out of time and you will not be able to complete this examination. So it is very important. We recommend once to watch the clip and to be very observant, to notice the details in the clip. And if you really have to, then watch it a second time. But you should not watch the clip more than once or twice, all right? Even twice and you may run out of time. So you have to be very, you have to look at the clock and make sure that you have enough time to listen to the clip twice. So this clip is called Bunny New Girl and you can see that it's a little girl with a mask on her face. And while we are, we are watching this clip, I want you to think how you would describe the events in the clip in detail, okay? Think about, remember what we learned in the last lesson? Think about what happened at the beginning, the middle and the end. And if you can talk about what happened at the beginning, the middle and the end, then you should be able to easily describe the events in this clip, in this video. So let's watch the clip from the beginning. She's a bit shy at the moment. <laughs> she's she's got a um, she's got a little. Oh yes, <laughs> good. Um, well, come and say hello. Oh, see. Go on, go on, darling. He'll be fine. You sure you don't want to take it off? Hill 
was high, the valley was low. The leaves were all in a jumble. The wind was whistling. The clouds were blue. The sky was beginning to Sure footed he stepped, so high on the right, so careful that he didn't stop. He had to hold on, but to do anything wrong, but everything started to fumble. The lightning cracked, the thunder went boom! Ow! The whole country was starting to rumble! <laughs> Shh. Was that you, Ray? No. That is fine. So forget about all the pus. Carry on, shall we? His balance was fine. His legs felt like. Tony took his tumble, but he claimed that he meant it. And despite his best effort, it was anything but humble. Lost in his thoughts, the direction was. His mind was like the same. Okay, I hope you like that video as much as I do. And I hope now you can describe the events. What happened at the beginning, then what happened in the middle, and then what happened at the end. So let me just remind you, okay? Again, our aim, what we want to do is to be very uh, we want to observe and we want to be carefully looking at the video while we're watching and try and remember what happened at the beginning, the middle and the end. So look at these pictures and let's see if we can put the number on the picture. What is the first thing that happened? What is the second event that happened? The third, the fourth, the fifth and the sixth. That will help us afterwards when we want to describe the events. So I hope you are looking at the pictures and you can already tell me which is number one. What happened at the beginning? Right, let's have a look. The mother, right, she brought her daughter, Annabelle, to the school. Then what happened? Right, the teacher introduced Annabelle to the class. And Annabelle was wearing a bunny mask, so it was a bit embarrassing. Number three, Annabelle sat next to her friend or a girl, Bethany. Right. The boy 
annoyed Annabelle. Remember, he wasn't very nice to Annabelle and he said some very not nice things to Annabelle and she was very upset. Everyone saw that Annabelle had a mark around her face. And finally, all the children had their photo taken with also mar marks around their face. So students, let's have a think how you could now describe these events. I want you, let's take another look at those photos. And I want you to write some notes to yourself. In, in English would be great. In Hebrew or Arabic also is a good start if you don't know where to begin. Write down what is number one, what is number two, what is number three, and what is number four, five, and six. And then in the break, I want you to practice saying what happened in the video. Okay? So then after the break, you can actually check yourself to see if you spoke correctly about what happened. Okay? So we're going to go to break now. But then after the break, we're going to continue. Okay? So... I'll see you after the break, students. Goodbye. Hi, you're back. Well done. Okay, so now students, do you remember what we did before? We looked at the pictures and we tried to think how to describe the events of the video. What happened at the beginning, what happened in the middle, and then what happened at the end. And I gave you some pictures to help you, some prompts to help you remember what happened. And of course, in the COBE, you yourselves will want to remember this. But you can have a picture in your mind. What was at the beginning? What was at the middle? And then what was at the end? And that will help you answer the question yourself. So before we begin, though, let's have a look at some words that will help you. Classmates. Bunny mask. Daughter different, embarrassed. You could also use the word shy. The mother said her Annabelle is very shy, okay? And to introduce. So let's start with these words, okay? Look them up in your dictionary. Write them in the table or write them in your notebook. Make sure they are there. And now I'm going to show you 
how to translate them into Hebrew or into Arabic. Let's have a look. There you go. Did you translate them correctly? I hope so. Excellent. So are you ready for the next part? So I'm only now with my picture. Remember, this is what happened at the beginning. So this is one way to describe the events of, at the beginning of the clip. You can describe it in a different way, but I have in my mind a picture of what happened at the beginning and that will help me describe the events in detail and in depth. The mother and her daughter, they, the daughter is, she, the teacher, and. And the words that I can use are take, enter, want, arrive, walk, introduce, and embarrassed. If there are words here, students, that you don't know, you can look them up in your dictionary and you can use them as well. If you have another word that you would rather use, that is also fine. That is not a problem. Okay? Remember, these are just suggested way, suggestions of ways how to describe what happened at the beginning. And this will not be good for every clip. Certain things will help you, but this won't. Okay, so I need to talk about what happened at the clip. I need, at the beginning of the clip, I need to think about who were the people in the clip and what did they do and describe it. So did you write this, students? The mother and her daughter walk quickly to the school. They arrive late at the school. The daughter is embarrassed. She doesn't want to go into the classroom. The teacher takes, with an S, remember, her to the classroom and introduces her to the students. So you can see here I gave you verbs, some verbs to help you, some action words to help you, but you needed to fill in more details. So I want you now to think about how you can do that for the middle and for the end, all right? So let's have a look now at the middle. But to do that, first, students, we will need some words. For example, next to, behind, mean, to laugh at, and to pull off. Who was sitting next to Annabelle or who was Annabelle sitting next to? Yes, Bethany. Who was sitting behind them? Right, Aiden, the boy, the mean boy. And he was a mean boy. He wasn't nice to Annabelle. Right. And who laughed at Annabelle? Do you remember? Yes, all the students laughed at Annabelle. And who pulled off her bunny mask? Aiden did. Right. That will help you now to describe what happened in the middle of the clip. And here you have the words in Arabic and in Hebrew. Mean is a perfect example of a word that can have many meanings. So you have to be careful that you choose the meaning that is suitable for what you need, okay? In the COBE, test you will not have a dictionary you will not have paper you will not have pen so a pen so you have to start practicing thinking of other words that you can say if the word that you want or need you don't have that's okay you need to think of another way to say what you want to say and you may say it in 10 words you may not have the word mean but you can say not nice instead Okay, so don't worry too much about the vocabulary. You need to talk about what you see and describe it. It is more important that you say what you see than you worry about having the exact word that you need. All right. And again, the more you practice doing this, the better you will get and you will have the words that you need. So 
here we see what happened in the next part. Then the teacher, the children, and the boy behind Annabelle. So how can I fill in with using these words? Tell, laugh, wear, sit, and pull off. Remember, these are just some of the words that will help me. I need to fill in with more details. Can you write now in your notebooks how you think you would fill this in using these words? Be careful that if you have to use an with an S, for example, the teacher mm, with an S, the verb has an S, the children is in plural, so you don't need an S, but the boy behind Annabelle you need to add an S to the verb because it's present simple. If you say it in present simple and you can describe events in present simple, you can also describe the events in the past, what happened in the past. You should decide on whether you are going to use the present simple or the past before you start describing the events and then you should do it all in the same tense. If you describe it in present simple, then the whole description should be in present simple. If you describe it in past simple, the whole description should be in past simple. Think about these things when you are practicing, okay? So the teacher tells Annabelle to sit next to Bethany. The children laugh at Annabelle because she is wearing a bunny mask. Notice that I use the word is wearing which is present progressive. I am very aware, but everything is in present. The boy behind Annabelle says mean things to her and then pulls her mask off. All present simple except for that one part where I added present progressive. So I have decided to use present simple. If you want to use present, if past simple, you can. The teacher told Annabelle to sit next to Bethany. The children laughed at Annabelle because she was wearing a bunny mask. The boy behind Annabelle said mean things to her and then pulled her mask off. The same thing but in past. Please be aware if you are speaking in present simple, then you should continue. If you speak in past, you should continue. Okay? Next. In the end, the children... What do you think happened at the end? You have pictures to remind you and help you. The children, what else did they do? Then Bethany draws and all of the other children, the teacher, they take, the children are. Okay, again, all of this I have chosen to say or write in present simple. That is something you need to think about. Again, more and more practice will help you feel comfortable and confident doing this properly so that you won't in the middle change your mind and change the tense. So here's an example answer. Again, this is a suggestion. If you wrote something else, that is fine. You do not have to write what I wrote. There is not one answer. The children see that Annabelle has a black line on her face around her mouth. The children laugh at Annabelle. Then Bethany draws on her face. And all of the other children draw on their faces. The teacher is angry with the children. They take the class photo. The children are all friends. Did you notice another thing about my description? There is not a lot of emotional uh, feelings or ideas in my description. I am just describing what happened, what I saw. Afterwards, in the second part of the code, the second question set of questions, I will have to talk maybe about my feelings, another ending, I'm going to have to change the ending, 
or I'm going to have to talk about different perspectives or something like that. And that is the place where I'm going to talk about my opinions and ideas. So here I don't really need to give my opinion. I can, but I don't have to. The main thing is that I describe what happened in the, at the beginning, the middle and the end. So I've explained that. You will be asked to describe the events in the middle, uh, in the video, what happened at the beginning, the middle, and the end. Can you do that? Are you ready now, students, to do that? If you are, wonderful. Then what I suggest you do is, yes, you practice describing what happened at the beginning, the middle, and the end. I've given you lots of help to do that. You can look at what I wrote, but you mustn't read it. When you are describing the events from the beginning, the middle and the end, you must not read what you wrote. You must try and just say it without looking at all at your page. The words will help you. The sentences will help you. Don't learn things off by heart. Don't know how to say them without just as they are. Try and think of easy ways for you to just say what you need to say without looking at your page, okay? So now, students, after you've practiced a few times, then you are ready to record yourself and then assess yourself. And you can say, I can describe what I saw in detail. Is that true? Yes. If it is, great, then put a tick on yes. If you say no, then yes, students, you need to practice more. And if you are not sure, so either you can tape yourself or record yourself again and then listen to yourself again to see if you have improved or you can ask a friend or your teacher to listen to what you said and to tell you whether you have, yes, you can describe what you saw in detail in the clip. Can you describe the events in the order they happened? Or did you get confused about the order? If you can, great, that's wonderful. And if you can't, students, that's okay. You can practice more and then you can do it. And then you must listen to yourself and hear what you said and assess yourself. Very good. So now, students, why do you think Annabelle was embarrassed? And why do you think she drew on her face? Again, there's no right answer here. They don't tell me why she drew on her face. And they don't tell me why she was embarrassed. I have to guess. I have to infer from what happened in the video. So what do you think? This is what I think. Again, this is my idea. There's no right and there's no wrong. Annabelle is, she does not, she is a shy girl and she does not. Maybe she drew on her face because Annabelle put on a mask. So number one, again, I'm talking about the events as they happened and then I'm explaining why I think they happened. And that is inferring, and that is also explaining in detail what I saw. And the words I'm going to use are new student, know anyone, force her, cover her face. Okay, so what do you think could be an answer to why Annabelle was embarrassed and why she drew on her face? Annabelle is a new student at the school. And that I know because her mother said at the beginning, she does not know anyone and they do not know her. She was told to sit next to Bethany. She's a shy girl and she does not want to go to the new school. Maybe she drew on her face because she thought that her mother would not force her to go to school. So Annabelle put on a mask to cover her face when she saw that her mother said, uh-uh, you have to go to school. This is one answer. It may be wrong, 
But that's okay. The idea is for you to give your opinion. And so students, you need to think. So this is the set of questions that before you answer, you may have to think or you may have to watch the video again. But remember, do not watch it more than twice. More than that and you will run out of time. Why does Bethany draw on her face? Bethany sees, remember Bethany is the little girl that was sitting next to Annabelle. I've already asked why Annabelle drew on her face. That doesn't explain why Bethany then drew on her face. Bethany sees that. Bethany wants to make and not look. So, embarrassed, feel better, different, draw on. Can you answer that? Try and answer now. And again, this is a suggested answer. If you have a different answer, that is perfectly fine. There is not one answer here. Okay? And you can use my answers to help you. Bethany sees that Annabelle is embarrassed. Bethany wants to make Annabelle feel better and not look different from all of the other children. So she draws on her own face. So here are some more words that can help me. Bullying, difference, friendship, different, to bully, to make fun of, to belong. And these words will help me answer the next question. So think about the meaning of these words. If you know the meaning, then great, write it in straight away in Hebrew or in Arabic. If you don't know the meaning, look it up in your dictionaries and write it in. Are they the translations that you got? I hope so. If not, maybe you looked up the word as a noun and you found it not as a verb or an adjective. Be careful. As you can see here, the word different and difference has a different meaning. Okay? And we use it in a different way. There you go. What is the message of the video? Explain. The message of the video is that friendship can overcome. Bethany helped. In addition, Bethany sent a message to the bully who, remember my words from before? The message of the video is that friendship can overcome difference and bully. Bethany helped Annabelle feel part of the class and not the strange new girl who doesn't belong. In addition, Bethany sent a message to the bully who made fun of Annabelle because she looked different. By Bethany looking different and all the other children looking different, the bully felt a bit silly, I would say. And have a look. Do you remember what he did at the end of the video? You probably don't, but that's okay. Describe a time when you wanted to wear a mask. Sometimes we want to wear masks. When do we want to wear a mask? When I went to a party and maybe something spilled on my clothes or someone I knew was there and I didn't want to see that person. These are up to you to fill in, to complete, and of course to be able to speak about them. When I started a new school, when I had a haircut that I hated, how many times has that happened to you, that you wanted to just put a bag on your head and go to school so that no one would see you? When I got braces on my teeth, I didn't want people to see me, so I didn't want to go to school because I was embarrassed. Okay, so think about how to answer questions like that. You may be asked a question like that in the code. How would you feel if you were Bethany? Or how would you feel if you were Annabelle? Or how would you feel if you were Aiden or the teacher? Okay, that's important. And of course, how did you feel while you were watching the video? Explain. How did you feel? Were you happy? Were you sad? 
Maybe here we need some extra adjectives, some words that can help us describe our feelings. These are excellent words for you to learn and to remember for the code and for life. And so when you go in to the test, you will have this bank of words ready so that you can use them. And they are excellent words to help you to talk about anything, to talk about your feeling, to talk about your feelings, to talk about the feelings of the character in a book. Anxious, concerned, emotional, relieved, upset, angry, mean, sensitive, or to ignore. That's a verb, okay? And here you have the words in Arabic and in Hebrew. And these, as I said, are very helpful, good words for you to remember and to learn and to use as much as possible. So how did you feel while you were watching the video? At the beginning, I felt... Then, when the boy bullied Annabelle, I felt. When I, when I saw, sorry, that's a mistake, Bethany's face, I was. Her behaviour caused me to think about my own behaviour. I now. How can you fill that in? It's up to you. Okay? And so now, students, I want you to not record yourself describing the events, but I want you to, uh, to record yourself describing your opinion about the events in the video and then assess yourself and then say that you can express and explain your opinion or your feelings in detail. Very good. And now for the final activity, which you all know how to do now, is in pairs, record yourselves, and then do the ladder of feedback to give each other feedback and to help each other improve. And some things that you can say, and you can do this with any clip, it's up to you. And here we have, again, after you've taped yourself or recorded yourself, then you can listen and then you can give feedback. Okay, great. So students, you can now say that you can describe events in detail from a clip. You can sequence and summarise events in a video. You can evaluate events and you can express your ideas and opinions. Great. This has been a wonderful lesson. I have enjoyed myself immensely. I really had a good time and uh, I wish you good luck in the COBE and with all of your Bagut exams. Goodbye.